Hi, I'm Rich Lund, and I'm on a herp quest. I'm gonna try to find some salamanders today. Came to uh, this wooded area, it's nice and moist around here. It's also the right time of year. It is early spring. Salamanders are out doing their thing in these cooler months when the snow has left the ground, which finally happened. And so I've got a better chance of finding them. I've only been able to find salamanders once in my life, and it's not for lack of trying. As a kid, I was turning over logs, rocks, everything I could find. But also, I was never out really doing a lot of that this time of year. But today, it is April 22nd, 2018, Earth Day, and maybe I'll get some luck. Another good thing about this time of the year is that there's no poison ivy on the ground. Always a good thing. So let's go into the woods, turn over some moist areas, and see what we can find. Hopefully, we'll see a salamander. Here we go. Not a herpetological specimen, but still pretty cool. No. Ooh, I'm liking this. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> liking this? Get it? Huh? Get it? Okay. Spot like this, plenty of logs. There's gotta be some around here, right? Even if I don't find any, it's still just nice to be out here in nature. Listen to that. I have been hearing some different frogs too. Earth Day. All right, get yourself together, Rich. Do you see that log right there? I've been turning over log after log after log, and I've been out here for a good three hours. And I turned over that log, right there, that one. And I just saw my first ever blue spotted salamanders. So I'm gonna turn it over again. I put it, I put it quickly back, very gently. Don't wanna startle them. I think I already did. I know I'm startled. <laughs> oh, that felt awesome already. Okay, let's see what we can get for you guys to see. Here we go. Oh. oh, wow. I see two right there. First, I'm just carefully looking around to see if I'm missing one. I'm only seeing two. One right here, one right here. The wind is going a little bit. There's the blue spotted salamander. You see the blue spots there right near the tail? Awesome. Now salamanders, they absorb plenty of things through their skin. Primarily, that's how they breathe. That's why their skin has to stay moist. So that way the oxygen can dissolve into the moisture and it can be absorbed through the skin. So I am going to handle these, but very, very quickly. Not rapidly to cause them harm, but I am going to handle them put them into my container just so we can get some better shots. These guys don't scurry much at all. Oh wow. Yeah, that's not like a lizard at all. The blue spotted salamander, Ambistoma laterale. This is a mole salamander of the genus Ambistomatidae, and that means it does have lungs. Not all salamanders do. Lungless salamanders breathe only through their skin. But this family, the mole salamanders, breathe both through their skin and by inhaling air into their lungs. They can be brown or dark gray in color, especially juveniles, but they darken as they mature to this almost black color. It's a very cold tolerant species and is active in the early spring even when temperatures are just slightly above freezing. Their diet includes worms, small insects, larvae of insects, snails, slugs, centipedes, essentially critters small enough for them to gobble that they find dwelling underneath the logs and leaves that they frequent. To you and me, this is an adorable little salamander, but to a small invertebrate, this is a fierce, carnivorous predator. And though it didn't happen in my encounter, they do have poison glands concentrated at the upper surface of the tail. If agitated enough, they'll whip that tail around and secrete from the glands a whitish, foul-tasting and foul-smelling substance. Cute little guys, huh? Salamanders, frogs, lots of amphibians, plenty of reptiles too they are declining in numbers rapidly. So if you're going to go do something like this, you want to disturb the environment as little as possible. Try to make it like you were never there. And so while yes, 
Thank you very much, Blue Spotted Salamanders. You've gotten me some great video footage, but I'm going to make sure to put you back and let you do your thing. Don't want to interrupt, especially during the mating season. So they're going to go right back where I found them. But awesome score here. Awesome. So that's going to be it for this episode. But as I find more herps, you'll see more videos. Subscribe to the channel if you want to find out what other herpetological specimens I find. Oh, and if you learned something, give it that thumbs up like. We always appreciate that. I'm Rich Lund. Herpetology is awesome. Catch you next time.